Most things within South Africa is infiltrated with intelligence agents. So if you think that you are immune to this, you have no idea what you're talking about. Now I could look in at Nia from the outside with what I was involved with and they often created severe problems for me. So I'm not extremely fond of the organization. It's not that I'm against the concept of a national intelligence agency. Let's just say that I have a problem with how they recruit and how they actually train people because many of these people are complete and utter amateurs. What I want to discuss with regards to the Buramak bombings in the 2000s is the fact that they did this because of a belief based on what Wamsina van Rensburg said, who they revere as a Boer prophet and therefore believe that all the predictions that was made in this book of Adrian Sneijman need to come true. Because in this book on Sina van Rensburg, Adrian Sneijman said that a black leader was going to die, a very prominent black leader, and that there was going to be a funeral, as mentioned before, where people would come from all over the world. And these people wanted to make this happen. And then stop another prediction, which is the Nach of the Lang Messe, the Night of the Long Knives, where people from the townships were supposed to go all over the so-called white areas and attack and kill white people all in one big event that they believe is being planned called Uhuru and many other things. Now, these plans have been made in the past. I will not deny this because as much as I investigated extremist groups that wanted to do something to Kuburg where I worked, I also investigated extremist leftist groups. And many of these groups are just plain terrorist organizations. Many of these groups knew what was happening on the other side. So the extreme left groups were playing on the emotions of the extreme right wing groups and vice versa. So they would be able to thwart any of these tax attacks if they wanted to unless it was sudden and no one expected it. And this Buramach attack achieved exactly that, except for one thing. They were heavily infiltrated by the National Intelligence Agency. And the person that actually recommended that they take these actions was an agent. And this is something that the public would generally not know. This will not come out in court cases, but I'm making it plain and simple to you now. And I feel that when intelligence agencies get involved in organizations that can become extreme and make suggestions, that is just plain wrong. Why plant ideas in people's minds and then encourage them to do it? What kind of a sick ideology is that? So I have a huge problem with what Nia did at the time. And obviously, as we know from history now, what the Buramach wanted to do at the time was kill Nelson Mandela and then thwart the attempts of the so-called black masses to enter the white areas and kill them all off. So they wanted to thwart this prophecy that they believe was going to come true. How did they do this? They planted bombs on bridges, railway lines and many other things. And as we know, one person died because of this when a piece of railway line landed within a shack and, and killed a lady, a human, which is murder. And now I will tell you what basically happened on the day. So they had planted all these bombs that went off over a period of time. The communication wasn't that good because on the day Nelson Mandela was supposed to be killed. And how that was supposed to happen is as he was traveling to a, a charity event, there was a vehicle parked next to the road that he traveled on, uh, a back road, and this vehicle was supposed to blow up and kill him in the process. And then, because of this death of this leader, they believed that then the black masses would rise up and go into the white neighborhood to try and attack them. That is why they blew up the railway lines and the bridges to stop them from being able to enter the white areas then and then thwart this so-called prophecy. Because this group was infiltrated by Nia, Nelson Mandela at the last minute took a helicopter ride to his event and did not pass by this vehicle loaded with explosives, which thwarted the entire plan that the Burma had. Well, as we know, Nelson Mandela later 
died himself. And at the time of his death, there's something very important that happened because I had feared that if another prediction comes true, that the right extreme right wing would actually act. And it's been a concern of mine for most of my life. And that is irrational extremist actions because of what Sina von Rensburg saw. And one of these things was the glass coffin scenario. And the day that I heard about the glass coffin, like I said, I turned stone cold. I couldn't believe it. I actually spoke to someone else at Kuburg Nuclear Power Station that I had confided in. At the time, she knew about my operations within intelligence. And besides her, there were two other people. The operations manager at the time, who's in the United Arab Emirates uh, right now, as well as my shift manager because I had permission to leave at short notice and they would have to get crew in to actually replace me. But when I shared this news with them, they were also absolutely shocked. The fact that here is someone that I knew <laughs> by chance actually predicting, or that I know now, predicting uh, or saying, making this prediction come true by saying that we should make Nelson Mandela lay in state in a glass coffin. And the first thing I said is, this cannot happen. I have to stop this. And I did. Um, I made sure that Nelson Mandela did not lie in state in a glass coffin. There's many other things with regards to his death that I had to manipulate so that extremist uh, groups don't go over into action that would damage them and many other people. And I have been doing this for a very long time. Like I said, up until 2010. Because there are extreme leftist groups that are terrorists. Um, the actions that they plan are terrorist actions. But the, none of the actions that the right wing groups believed would happen because of what was interpreted from Sina van Rensburg's visions will happen. They have been taken care of. Like I said, I will make very specific videos on the life of Sina van Rensburg the various things that he said, the various things that he saw. And I want to make it clear, I do believe that he had a birth gift to see certain things. And there's ample evidence for that. Ample evidence. Based on his life, the things that he saw, the things that were obvious, there were certain things that Wimsiner declared himself with regards to what he saw. There were other things that he didn't declare. That someone studied the work and life of Sina von Rensburg spoke some of the people spoke to some of the people that knew him since he was a very nice person I met him in person like I said before and I believe he had good intentions real fears his house had been raided I don't know how many times and that can't be nice I know of many people whose homes have been raided by the security police and many other people that I've never been involved with and like I said I will cover those details in another video specifically on his life but to this day, the interpretations of the things that Wamsina saw is still affecting us. And there's still people that believe that Kuburg will explode. <clears throat> there's still people that believe that another black leader will die violently. There's people that believe that we will lose all power in our country and that this night of the long knives will then start. Although people are getting confused between Johanna Brandt's visions and those of Omsina van Rensburg. Some of those families that were involved in uh, building bombs that they wanted to use to blow up pylons, they were infiltrated by people uh, in the area, uh, which I didn't know at the time. I found out about that later. And they were given an option to leave the country, uh, to go and live in Southwest Africa, which is what they did. So. If you handle intelligence in a good way, it doesn't have to be as Cyril Ramaphosa says, skop, skit and donor at all. A good intelligence person will ensure that absolutely nothing is visible, noticeable or seen at all. So you could have people working for intelligence within your family, within your company, within your bank. The person sitting behind the bank teller could be working for intelligence. You wouldn't even know about it. They could just be providing information and many other things. So intelligence is a huge part of South African culture, uh, a lot more than you can ever imagine. And this is where the New World Order ideology becomes a problem, because this 
complete control over our lives is a huge problem and I will fight it to the day I die. As Omsina van Rensburg saw things unfold within the world, not just South Africa, it will become clear to you the events that will still unfold in this country and how absolutely accurate this Wumi saw so many different things because you will only know when it happens that he had been right. You cannot predict what will happen in the future because of what he saw. Thanks for listening to this video and how Sina van Rensburg and what this Wumi saw has affected my life in a big way still affecting it to this day and I will still explain in many other videos the detail around what happened with each and every one of these events.